reading from Sema Bhagavatam, Canto 5, Chapter 5. A lot of Savage teachings to his hundred sons. Text number 31. Text 31. Ashti Atisu Kumara Very delicate Kara Hans Charana Fit Ora Sala Chest Vipula long Bahu arms Amsa shoulders Gala neck Vadana face Adi and so on Avayava limbs Vinyasa, properly situated. Prakriti, by nature. Sundara, lovely. Swabhava, natural. Hasa, with smiling. Sumuka, his beautiful mouth. Lava Nalina Daya Ma appearing like the petals of a lotus, new lotus flower. Sisira taking away all miseries. Tara, the irises, Aruna, reddish, Ayata, spread wide, Nayana, with eyes, Ruchira, lovely, Sadrisa, such, Subaga, Beauty, Kapula, forehead, Karana, yes, Kanta, neck, Nasa, his nose, Vigudha, Smita, by deep smiling, Vadana, by his face, Maha Ulsavena, appearing like a festival, Pura Vanitanam, of women within household life, Manasi in the heart, Kusuma Sarasanam. Kupid, Upada Dhanahan, Awakening, Parak, All Around, Avalambamana, Spread, Kutila, Koili, Jatila, Matted, Kapisa, Brown, Kesa, of her, okay. Bodhibhara, possessing a great abundance, Abaduta, neglected, Malina, Deti, Nijasari Rena, by his body, Grahagrihita, haunted by a ghost. Eva, Eva, 
as if a Adrishyata he appeared. Translation and purport by Divine Grace S. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada Ki. Lord Sabdev's hands, feet, and chest were very long. His shoulders, face, and limbs were all very delicate and symmetrically proportioned. His mouth was beautifully decorated with his natural smile, and he appeared all the more lovely with his reddish eyes spread wide like the petals of a newly grown lotus flower covered with dew in the early morning. The irises of his eyes were so pleasing that they removed all the troubles of everyone who saw him. His forehead, ears, neck, nose, and all his other features were very beautiful. His gentle smile always made his face beautiful, so much so that he even attracted the hearts of married women. It was as though they had been pierced by arrows of Cupid. About his head was an abundance of coily, matted, brown hair. His hair was dissolved because his body was dirty and not taken care of. He appeared as if he were haunted by a ghost. Popot by Slapapapad. Although Lord Sabdi's body was very much neglected, his transcendental futures were so attractive that even married women were attracted to him. His beauty and dirtiness combined to make his beautiful body appear as though it was haunted by a ghost. Yeah, very interesting. It's very interesting. <laughs> <coughs> when, when we look at uh, The spiritual personalities who have ever seen the picture, the cowhead boys and all our chariots, Narottam, Dasakura, all of them, when you look at their body, it's different. It doesn't look like our own in terms of quality. When you look at their beauty, it's extreme, extremely sweet, very sweet. So, just by looking at the body, one can understand. Uh, the personality that they are. So you see the description of Lord Sardev's hands, feet, and chest were very long. In Chetan Chetanamu, they call Niogra, Niogra. A great personality is nine inches measured. So his hands, their hands, when also when you look at the Sukadev Goswami, the same in the same way, when you look at the Sukadev Goswami, when you see his picture. Yeah, see. So <clears throat> you can see. How how they look? It's, it's completely different. It's beautiful. Their hands reaches the knee. Not when seated, when standing. When we sit, our hands will reach. But if you stand, our hands will not reach. But these personalities, when they stand, you see their hands will reach the knee. 
when you see a person like that, you know, this is, is yes, this is a special soul, not ordinary soul. They're different. They are extremely, extremely different in many ways. The chest is broad. The chest, the chest is not inside. The chest is broad. Yeah, the chest is broad. Not due to physical exercise or yoga. The body is naturally melanin. It is beauty. His shoulders is also the same. The shoulders is also broad. The same Rupa Goswami described of Krishna. Uh, three things is broad. What are those things? Three things are broad. Mm, three things. And the body of the Supreme Lord. Do we describe in Chitam how to three things are broad? Yes. Start from the beginning. Let me know if you get it, if you are speculating. Yes, forehead. Forehead is broad. It means one who is intelligent. This is a forehead is broad. It's an intelligent person. Yes, then? Then? Shoulder. The shoulder is broad. Then three things are deep. Three things are deep. Nipple, very deep. Voice, deep, yes. Intelligence. Intelligence is deep. So you know, this is a great personality. <laughs> no, no, not ordinary person. We see also that Sister Mahabha has all this, but he was deliberately covering everybody not to know him. That was deliberate. Unlike, unlike the disciple David. Of course, he disguised himself also. He, he disguised, but Although he disguised not to see him as, as their ruler, but this quality was still visible. Still, unfortunate people do not recognize him. This is misfortune. This is misfortune. His shoulders, face, and limbs were all very delicate and symmetrically proportioned, really properly formed. When, when Dhruva Maharaj saw Lord Vishnu before him, this is what he saw. When he saw Lord Vishnu, he said, yes. Of all the things Lord Brahma created, this is the best one. This is the best of all creatures of Brahma. It's not, this is Dhruva Maharaj's expression of Krishna's beauty when he saw Krishna. Lobrama can never create it more beautiful than this. Because nothing is beyond Krishna. That is it. Nothing is beyond Krishna. So Krishna, everything is a, is a limit, but the limit has no limit. This is a, a spiritual calculation. Mm -hmm. His mouth was beautifully decorated with his natural smile. Natural smile. It's, this is another way to understand huh? the heart of a pure devotee. It shows on the face, just like we all any person else, it can be known by the expression of the face. The pure devotees, they capture the hearts. Mm? They, they capture the heart of all those who are fortunate to look at them. Right? They are broad mind, which, which comes out through their big smile. Their smile captures the heart. It's not the beauty of the body alone. It is a beauty of the, the heart that is capturing those who look at him and look at them. 
ስማይል ኔቹራል ስማይል ዲኮሬት ዲማውድ አን ሂ አፒየድ ኦል ዲ ሞር ሎቭሊ ዊት ሂዝ ሬዲስ አይስ ስፕሬድ ዋይድ ላይክ ዲ ፔታውስ ኦፍ ኤ ኒውሊ ግሩን ሎተስ ፍላዋ covered with dew in the early morning hmm? you see the eye of a weaver bird no weaver bird weaver weaver bird weaver weaver bird we have different thing birds weaver bird they are always they are always with the only bird that always together and they make their house together in the big tree yes. they have a yellow and a red viva viva birds the, the the eyes are red yes thank you great children they don't know they don't know you are bird um, yeah that is viva bird sure yes the eye is red you have a reddish eye mm yes not white see see the one is white means ugliness <laughs> <laughs> yes red so this the same the same krishna krishna this guy krishna is reddish which also means many things hmm? means many things when one is angry the eyes also be red but not not when one is also in a sulky mood sulky is unmanifested anger is covered anger that's that's also show in the eye the irises of his eyes were so pleasing that they removed all the troubles of everyone who saw him Shri Bilbe Mangal Thakur Bilbe Mangal Thakur Krishna Kanan Rit Rukesha's body is very beautiful Rukesha's body is very beautiful His face is extremely beautiful than the body and above all is what the smile on the lotus face is like the fragrance of honey that is <laughs> fragrance of honey not honey is a fragrance of honey it's more tasty more tasty <laughs> <clears throat> so lord krishna contrasted all the beauties of the whole world and put it in his body and to the face and the smile the beautiful smile on his his face the remnant the the remnant of hirakasipur uh, and family hirakasipu after hirakasipu was killed with so many others the some that escaped the leader of them were very powerful the two and they are brothers they are brothers these two brothers they have they have the fortune nobody can kill any one of them except themselves so nobody knows their secret so how can you kill them they went to the forest and perform heavy austerity like in akasipo heavy austerity while they were performing their austerity the, the whole the whole earth planet was shaking due to the strength of the austerity 
bir terim. Indra tried, tried to stop them. They couldn't succeed because the completion of the austerity would make them invisible to all the demigods. So Indra tried. He came there, tried in mystical ways to. He didn't succeed. Then they brought their wives before them. And slaughtered them before they didn't bring the wife because they cannot even go to their wives. But by magical feat, they brought the wife before them. When they were engaged in austerity, killed all the ladies or the wives before them. They didn't give up their artisan. They don't care. They continue with the austerity until they concluded it. And they had a heavy. Heavy celebration throughout the whole night. Heavy celebration. Heavy varieties of food and drinks. Celebrate their success. After this, then they came back to the house to execute their demonic activities. The whole earth was in trouble. So finally, they came to <coughs> Lord Vishnu for help. So Lord Vishnu went to every species, every species of life, every species, and took everything beautiful, everything beautiful. In all species of life, and form a great personality, the Lord Tama. The name is the Lord Tama. The totality of all beauties personified in the material world, and then Lord Vishnu sent the Lord Tama to these two persons because. Only Vishnu knows their secret. Therefore, he has to create something to bewilder them because nobody can kill them. Only the two of them know each other's secret. Whatever you do, whatever weapon you use, they are immune to it. So, Dilotama, after her manifestation when Lord Vishnu, Vishnu sent her. So she went to the forest where these two brothers living beautiful, but it was heavenly. Had they constructed their, their houses in the forest? So she entered there, and she was going from. Flowers to flowers and picking varieties and dancing. As soon as the two of them saw her, that this girl is for me. No, 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 no. It is for me. No, 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 no. That this girl is. For, no, no, no. It's my wife. No, no, no. It is. In this way, they were. Arguing, arguing. What, what is the end of argument? Fighting. They fought themselves and killed themselves. Tilotama was able to then kill them. And then that was the end of these demons, and all the other associates were killed. Uh, Beauty, yes, that is beauty. That beauty pleases the eyes of those who see mm, the beauty. Beyond the material beauty which pleases the eye, the beauty of the heart it pleases the heart more. So the beauty of the heart is more powerful than the beauty of the body.
Although the Sabdes body is so beautiful, attractive, but because it was unkept, it's not dirty, right? The body is very dirty, but still it is said here. Mm -hmm. His forehead, ears, nose, and all his other features were very beautiful. His gentle smile always made his face beautiful. So much so that he even attracted the heart of unmarried women. Who be attracted to a dirty person? A dirty person. A dirty person who, who like to as say with a person who wearing five coats in the summer. <laughs> Mm -hmm. huh? The summer, <laughs> not winter. <laughs> For winter, no surprise. Here in Brindavan, I have seen in winter five coats, five dresses, five with hand gloves, <laughs> socks, socks also, so three, three with the five dresses on the board. And then I saw 2003, the first time I experienced winter here. It was terrible experience, terrible. Five. But the soil, <laughs> the, the cold is still present to penetrate the, the skin, to penetrate the skin into the boon. Now you don't feel it like that. So you, you didn't experience it. <laughs> I, I was not able to, we, we didn't back, back to the Bible at that time. I, I couldn't touch the Bible at that time. It, it is, it's a very cold. Approaching it is already emanating cold. So we abandoned it. We ran to Mumbai. <laughs> so, but that is winter. To see somebody in this dress in summer it means the person is not normal. So, Lord Sabde was in this. With all this dirtiness, he was so attractive that the heart of the married women also were attracted to him. It was as though they had been pierced by arrows of Cupid. Yes, that is exactly what is happening. Mm, that's what is happening. Pure devotees are always attractive, very attractive, if you want to know. I'm giving you the sign, but still you're not hearing, you're not seeing. Mm, I'm giving you all the secrets. I don't understand. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. About his head was an abundance of coily, matted brown hair. His hair was dissolved because of his body was dirty and not taken care of. He appeared as if he were haunted by a ghost. Yes, he was haunted by the ghost of spiritual life. The Christian prema. He was haunted by Christian prema. It, it, because of his Christian prema, is attracting everyone to him. Especially those who, those who are very fortunate to penetrate the the material coverings, they can see the personality, so they are attracted to him. The attraction here is not just the body, but because we are material, we will hang our attraction based on the body. But what is attracting is the purity of that personality. Hare Krishna. Any comments or questions? Yes.
on me. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare uh, attracting some person more, some attraction, some person like Chakrasmara, or only attraction with a man. Mm-hmm. Yes, at- attraction is main thing because it's bringing. It's bringing people from different levels. It's bringing people together to him. So even killing the demons, it also shows his strength. I would still bring people to him that, yes, we, we, we want to see the most powerful person. So Krishna also does that. So it's attraction. Attraction is there in many ways, through his power, through his beauty, through the philosophy. It's bringing people, bringing conditions to him. Yes, that's attraction. Same time, sometimes the demons, they are not attracting women. The demons, you know, in the human form of the zone, means what is the obstacle for that? Yes, we are, we are attracted or not attracted. For example, see, if you, if you keep iron on magnet, there is no opposite direction. Hmm? No opposite direction. Iron and magnet will come together. There's no opposite direction. I say it is not iron, I say it is not magnet. If it is wood and magnet, there is no attraction. If it is iron and magnet, there will be attraction. Similarly, if the soul is, let's say, fortunate, I will be attracted towards spiritual things. If the soul in the, is not, not fortunate, not sincere, you not be attracted. Sometimes you see, if you chant the holy name, so many people become very angry. Why? It is torturing them. The holy name is meant for purification, but some demonic personality, the holy name is really a disturbance. Why? Stop this. But a person who is fortunate, once he hear the name, is automatically attracted. He want to come closer. It is our sinful activities that makes one not be attracted to Krishna. Hmm? And a few years ago, we were having evening at 6.30, the kirtan was going on. And Somebody came to the next building to the temple. Somebody came to visit her friend there. What is she, she's just hearing the sound. What is that? What is that? What is that? He saw there is a place. He immediately left and came to the temple. And that's how she started. Because the attraction of the music she had. But the person whom she came to visit didn't come to the temple. She came from a different way, different place, far different place to come and get attracted. Just by hearing the sound, the holy name, she came to the temple. And that's how she started practicing. Oh, she, she was following Lord Shiva before. And she heard the sound, the Maha Mantra. She immediately she started coming. She became a devotee like that. In that building, there were so many people there. Nobody came to the temple. Even the person whom she came to visit, he didn't come to the temple, but she came to the temple. It is it, fortune, uh, or our, the, the heart is 
yearning for that to be attracted to Krishna. If if the if the heart is not sincere, not serious, you will not be attracted. To be a problem. Right? A few years ago, I was in a train, and there were many devotees there in the train. From uh, from uh, Pune to Calcutta. And so a lady was sitting there with, with uh, her daughter. Many devotees in the train. So five times I saw they were coming, and all the, all the five groups, they all came to this lady. She refused. I was just watching the drama. <laughs> they passed. Other people came, or they, like five, at different times, not at once. She refused to take the book. But some people they took, but she wasn't taking any book. When she was going to get down, then she came to me, Maharaj, please, I need a blessing. I said, you need a blessing. Five times blessing came to you, refuse. <laughs> so which blessing you were looking for? <laughs> I was surprised when I, I, she came to me once she was about to get down from the station. Give me blessing. That is fortune and misfortune. Not attracted to Krishna consciousness. But you want something which is very cheap. If I told her, give me thousands of rupees now, so I can make prayer for you. But you give the books, no. Right? I will taste for Krishna. Maha Prasade Govinde Namo Brahmanya Vaishtave Swalpa Punyam Patam Raja Visasuna Jayate. One who is piety is, is Niga Alpa Punya will not be attracted to Krishna, Krishna's holy name, Krishna's devotee Prasada Alpa Punya. That is the problem. No attraction. <laughs> no taste. And as Rupa Goswami put it, jaundiced. A jaundiced person will not be attracted to Krishna consciousness. So but, but those who have those who have no jaundice, they will be attracted. Be attracted. Samad Bhagavatam ki jai, Sila Prabhupada ki jai.